Hello everyone, it's Pavel here and in today's video I'm gonna go through my home gym setup. So in the last couple of years, majority of my training been done at home with very minimum equipment. So I can confirm you can use less for more results. So you don't need fancy equipment, you don't need much equipment, but you need some basics. So if you're same like me, if you don't have much time to go to the gym, you have work, family commitments. So it's a good idea to have some equipment at home and I'm gonna go through the basics today. So without the further ado, let's begin. So the majority of the equipment I use can fit in in the corner. As you can see, I have various kettlebells, various size of the kettlebells. So you don't need much, but here is a few essentials that I use on a regular basis. If you can't decide what you should buy first, either dumbbells or kettlebells, I would suggest buy something what you are comfortable with. If you're more comfortable with dumbbells, I would invest in some good dumbbells. But if you already use kettlebells or willing to learn how to use kettlebell properly, Kettlebells is much more fun tool to use. Overall, most of the exercises that you do with the kettlebell, you can mimic or do similar moves with the dumbbells as well. But there is some difference. The way how you handle or hold kettlebell will be different. But once you learn that, once you pass this point, you will have a lot of fun. And I would strongly suggest have two different weights. The medium weight that you can use for overhead and upper body exercises and you might want something a little bit heavier that you can use for lower body exercises like goblet sports, deadlifts and swings. Okay, over here I have a few different types of kettlebells, so competition kettlebells and cast iron kettlebells if you're not sure what to choose and which one suits you better i'm gonna break down some pluses and minuses between these two competition kettlebells as you can see the same size the handle is the same the shape is the same so when you're moving from one kettlebell to next kettlebell in terms of weight you're not going to feel much of a difference in terms of how you handle the kettlebell itself. One minus with competition kettlebells, handle can be a little bit narrow. So if I'm working with two hands, doing two-handed swing, might be a little bit uncomfortable for people with wider hands. Generally, the competition kettlebells is a little bit more expensive, but you pay for the quality. I don't think I ever seen bad competition kettlebell. The cast iron kettlebells, they all different in size, so the, the shape of the handle might change as well and the width of the handle can change as well. So on 32, the handle is definitely much thicker and feel com different compared to 20. For some, the size might be a good plus because they tend to be a bit smaller. For example, if you work with two 20 kilos kettlebells, the way how you stand and the way you handle kettlebell might be a little bit easier for people with shorter limbs. It will be easier for you to work with the smaller kettlebells. On another hand, if I'm using 28 kilos kettlebell for double handed swing, the handle is much wider, more comfortable to hold for the kettlebell swing. What I would definitely try to avoid is plastic kettlebells. They're usually filled with concrete. The material is really cheap. The plastic uh, will get really slippery, so especially if you go for endurance workouts, your hands getting a little bit sweaty this one will be really difficult to handle. Also, they really bulky. Second piece of equipment I highly recommend for you to get, especially if you're training at home, is pull-up bar. 
don't have to be anything fancy or super expensive so this pull-up bar can be picked up in any sports shop or ordered online for reasonably cheap. I have a few pull-up bars, I have one pull-up bar installed outside which I use most of the time. Just make sure it's secure and can take your own body weight. Pull-ups and chin-ups is two best exercises you can do for your back. If you can't do pull-up yet there is few ways you can progress. You can use the rubber bands or do negative sets at the beginning and build up from there. Definitely invest a little bit of money into pull-up bar, nothing too fancy, just a simple bar will do the job really nicely. I do add pull-ups into my workout routine at least once or twice a week, so it's always part of my sessions. So when you're training at home, calisthenics and body weight exercises is a big part of your routine. So this bringing me to the third piece of equipment which I highly recommend for you to get is weighted vest. So this particular vest is from Decathlon. It's not very expensive but the best part is goes from between 6 kilos up to 10 kilos by adjusting amount of plates you add. So you can add some plates and make this vest either 6 kilos or build it up to 10 kilos. So there is many body weight workouts which I've done with weighted vests so it's a great way for you to add some more resistance and exercises like push-ups squats or burpees will definitely be a next level with extra resistance so next we're going to break down the cost and how much it can cost you in terms of cost you can spend as much or as little as you want as an example we're going to go on Bulbison website so brand new 16 and 20 kilos kettlebell will cost you 53 and 65 pounds so the total cost will be about 118 pounds but if you're not too worried about how new is your kettlebells or dumbbells i definitely recommend to check facebook market as well i got a few of my kettlebells from facebook market and i got really good deal and you can find the similar kettlebells let's say 16 and 20 kilos kettlebells and you probably will pay for two or even three kettlebells under 100 pounds so definitely worth to check so the door frame pull up bar is really easy to come across you can find it on amazon or any other sports shop so usually the price can vary between 10 to 30 pounds so you can pick up pull up bar reasonably cheap i got my one from alzi for about 10 pounds bargain so the final item on the list is weighted best i got my one from decathlon good fit good quality and I paid £45 for this one. So overall total bill of the home equipment that I recommend will cost you about £150. I'm pretty much sure you can find the better deals or bargain if you look around but if we take an account that average price of the gym membership in London is around £70 to £100 a month so this price is a great option you don't have to spend this amount of money and buy your equipment bit by bit but I'm pretty much sure if you use it enough it will definitely be worth it so if I miss something or you have more recommendation of the equipment that I should add to this list please let me know so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye for now